Hello class, let's learn the addition and subtraction of integers using a number line. As we learned already, to add an integer, we move in the right direction, on the number line. And, to subtract, we move in the left direction. Let's add and subtract integers using a number line. To add 3 into 1, first, locate 1 on the number line. Then move 3 steps or units in the right direction. The number we land on, is the answer. To add 4 into minus 3, first, locate minus 3 on the number line. Then move 4 steps or units in the right direction. The number we land on is the answer. You can also solve this by interchanging the position of minus 3 and plus 4. To subtract 3 from 4, first, locate 4 on the number line. Then move 3 steps in the left direction. The number we land on is the answer. To subtract 3 from minus 1, first, Locate minus 1 on the number line. Then move 3 steps in the left direction. The number we land on is the answer. If there are two consecutive negative signs, separated by a bracket, once you remove the bracket, they form one positive sign. So, subtraction of a negative number is actually the addition of a positive number. The addition and subtraction of integers can also be performed using a sign method. To add 1 and 3, take 1 plus sign and 3 plus signs. Together they make 4 plus signs. Hence, the answer is plus 4. To solve minus 2 and minus 3, take 2 minus and 3 minus signs. Together they make 5 minus signs. Therefore, the answer is minus 5. To add minus 3 and plus 4, take 3 minus signs and 4 plus signs. As we know, plus 1 and minus 1 is equal to 0. We can cancel out 1 plus and 1 minus sign. Therefore, the answer is plus 1. Adding large integers with the sign method or number line method can be a cumbersome process. Let's learn some rules of addition and subtraction for the ease of calculation. Rule 1 says, if integers are having the same sign then keep the same sign and add. For example, plus 3 and plus 4, or 3 plus 4, have the same plus sign, hence add the numbers and keep the same plus sign. The answer is, plus 7. Similarly, minus 2 and minus 3, have the same minus sign, hence add the numbers and keep the same minus sign. The answer is, minus 5. Rule 2 says, if integers are having different sign then subtract and keep the sign of the bigger integer. Here, minus 3 and plus 4 have different signs, hence subtract 3 from 4. Since 4 is the bigger number and it has plus sign, therefore, the answer would be plus 1. Similarly, minus 5 and plus 1 have different signs, hence subtract 1 from 5. Since 5 is the bigger number and it has a minus sign, therefore, the answer is minus 4. 